Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. What would happen if you uh, are employed with a, with a company and you don't you fail at your job consistently? So let's say you were hired uh, two years ago and you consistently show that you underperform. So that means you go down and down and down and down. And let's say you are you are hit and miss. So that, that means you, you do your job like 40%, 60% or let's say 55% you, you don't do your job and let's say 45% you do it. Now, what do you think the owner or the board or whomever, what should they do with you? Probably they should train you a little bit, right? And see how it goes. Okay, let's say they did that and you still have the same, should you be fired? Yeah definitely and you will be fired all right now would they say well we're gonna wait about two more years because uh, we have a contract with you or they're gonna say we can't afford doing this we're just gonna fire you right now we're gonna provide you with whatever golden parachute uh, is in a, uh, our contract and so you go because if we keep you two more years here until the end of the contract we're gonna possibly we're gonna um, we're gonna round the company into ruin okay so we're gonna give you five salaries, whatever, insurance for years, bye-bye, we don't want to see you again around the area. Is that what goes on? Yes. Is it possible that, uh, you know, you're kept over there for a while and if the company still makes profit and it's profitable, they can afford having a loser like you or like me. Uh, no intent, uh, no, uh, I don't intend to insult anybody, but that's how it usually works. Now, is it a possibility that if you see you underperform badly, uh, you just say, you know what, <clears throat> maybe this job is not for me. I should just go and maybe try somewhere else where I'm happy and I, I'm satisfied with my performance. I think that should be an honorable thing to do, don't you think? Because obviously you don't fulfill your, uh, your expectations and your, um, you know, your potential, your full potential. So you remember the Maslow pyramid? You don't fulfill the, the last, you know, the self-realization, top of the pyramid. The four stages, I think, four or five stages, anyway. So, you pyramid of Maslow, you look at on that. So then, <clears throat> uh, you you have, I think, is a pyramid of needs or blah blah blah, something like that. Now we have politicians. What do you do with politicians who you elected? They are in a gov form of government, and they <clears throat> are that employee that you hired, and is underperforming and going down. How can you fire those guys? Wouldn't be in a good, a real society like the Greeks, ancient Greeks, envisioned that you should have the honor, honorable, honorable thing to do. Say, you know what? I suck. I move up for the benefit of you guys because you put your trust in me. I don't think I represent you. I failed. We can't always win, so I'm gonna move on. So I leave someone else to try. If the other guys are going to fail, going to look at my example and hopefully he's going to do the same thing. And then until the guy, the person will come and will succeed. And then you will see, yes, that's, that success of that person and, is, and the country is also my success. Because I moved, I removed myself from the success of my country because I was failing. So I think that's the way it should work. And probably, probably, problem is nowadays we have low, 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 you know what I mean. So this article comes from uh, Al Mayadin and uh, it's from um, today, what's the day? 18th of uh, November, 2022. It says more than 50% more than of Moldovans from Republic of Moldova dissatisfied with country's political course, a poll. A recent poll conducted by Date Intelligence, iData, shows that almost half of Moldova's population is not happy with the government's political course. They say almost 50, approximately 50. In a poll conducted on Friday by Moldovan data anal analysis company Date Intelligence, iData, the results found that more than 50% of Moldovans believe their government is leading the country in the wrong direction. The leaders also know that, I guarantee you that. 
participants were asked to evaluate the government's course of national development. 55.6% of respondents criticized it, 35.6% supported it, 7.5% were undecided, and 1.3% preferred not to respond. 1,060 respondents took part in the poll and the margin of error was 2.9%. Moldova's government has been accused of falling, failing to cope with the economic crisis as inflation surpassed the historic 34% year-on-year in October. The government has also, criticized, has also been criticized for, for its unwillingness to negotiate better gas prices with Russia and for putting political pressure on opponents. Consequently, mass anti-government protests erupted in Moldova over the past few months. Over 50,000 people showed up weekend after weekend after weekend. Numerous polls have shown that a total of 60% of the population in the country doubts the ability of the ruling party of action. Action and Solidarity, that's the name of the party. It was the part of Action and solid, sol, Solidarity. Acțiune și Solidaritate. That's how it sounds in Romania. <laughs> I'm assuming. I mean, I know that's the <laughs> Acțiune and Solidaritate. To stay in power for another three years. So it got three more fucking years these losers, of Moldovans, uh, uh, okay, another three years. In addition, roughly 70% of Moldovans appeared to be disappointed with the authorities' policies and almost 65% seemed to be supporting a change of government. Now, what should the country do? Should the country wait three more years or not? Democratically, those people can stay in power three more years. Should they? Or should they be honorable? You can say, well, I mean, you know, uh, it's not uh, only in Moldova, it's a general stuff. Well, I, I agree, but why should they be? Remember, when it was that uh, big uh, crash um, in, uh, what, 1930s, 29, right, 28, 29? And it was the great uh, whatever it was in the United States. There was one country in Europe that did not see that little incident occurring. You know what that country was? You know the name of that country? Hmm? Yeah, who didn't go through that the beautiful 30s? It was Germany. Uh, <clears throat> the Nazi Germany. Oh, am I a supporter? No, I'm just stating facts. They didn't have it. There was like, eh? Everybody was like, Bruh. they avoided that through their whatever they did, but they did it. Oh, I want to, as a Moldovan, to avoid what everybody is going to be fucked up with 8, 9, 12, 15 percent. I don't want to have 36. I want to have three. Like Germany, for instance, not Weimar Republic. Those guys in the 30s, the bad guys, the mm, 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 mm. you know what I mean, right? So what should they do? Remember, Biden has approval rating in uh, about 40 or something. Again, the government has around in the 30s or something. What should you do? How can we fix democracy? Do you think it's, it's a workable system as it is? What should you do? You know what I think you should do? I think you should improve the quality of the society, the population, the members of the society. But in order to do that, you need the generations and you need the right education, as Plato said. 2,400 years ago, right? Or almost three, almost 2,500 anyway. So, uh, you need to, not to educate by giving them a fucking useless diploma. Supposedly, you're educated. You're not educated. You're not, yeah, yes, not educated, okay? Teach them some moral things as well. Honor, respect, self-respect. You know, that, that, that used to be in this country, but now we have uh, some kind of liberation because that's not freedom <laughs> if it would be freedom i i should not need to jump to 1000 hoops to get a gun or i should watch my mouth what i say here or at work or in the society i should be free to say whatever i want as long as i don't threaten someone or it's another one that's it that's it but you 
have to pay attention at every corner not to misgender someone not to which i don't give a fuck but anyway if someone asks me and i feel like because that person asks me nicely ah, okay man how do you want me to call you tsupi loopy kappa kappa zivi zivi i call you however i want i think it's funny in in a way that it's ridiculous so i'm from, from yeah, tsupi tsupi how are you tsupi tsupi today good good how is your bbbb doing the good used did you use it all right good and tsupi tsupi see you later yeah <laughs> that's the respect i will give but if the person demands then no no if you demand that i should do this no 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 that works some other other way so anyway it's not about me here it's about the moldovans and about democracy what should we do how can we increase the level of uh, understanding of knowledge of the health of the society the morals i don't say mores that you know you should not do it. maybe the decency the common decency among people not respect because respect is earned and don't super inflate uh the word hero and respect nobody nobody deserves respect unless that person did something to earn the respect you have no value you have zero until you do stuff to earn that respect then i will respect you but no now you you have to respect everybody just say that at work and see where that gets you and say what i just say in a meeting board meeting or whatever meeting you got i say no 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 respect is earned you're going to be possibly fired definitely spoke to so and i'm talking not only governmental job i'm talking private as well all right so what kind of society is that well you value more weaselness instead of truth truth is it is 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 are you good no you're if you're not good that means you're bad be gentle be good be kind no i want to be truthful because if i'm kind that means i will lie i don't want to lie i want to improve i want to improve and improve you do it by effort not by i'm good because i say i'm good no my actions show if i'm good or bad so that these are just some some ideas about how you can improve a society but it has to be all over the place but it's not and we're already Remember that uh, KGB guy who defected to uh, I can't remember his name Yuri is the first name. Uh, you can watch it on YouTube like, uh, from 1978, 79, 80, 83, but I think it was 70, 80, 80 something like that. There's some interviews with him and he sp speaks about the the society how they worked on the society with exactly what we have right now. <clears throat> he said you, you destroy it, you make a society, a country lose its a self self um, confidence so the confidence on, on itself you're guilty of something all the time you owe someone you apologize you destroy your soul and then it's hard it's hard because once that starts down go down in order to uh, steer it back like an airplane once it goes down it's hard to get it back if once go that critical speed and angle you can't get it back unless you are no three three million um, yards up there just kidding you know what i mean the same here he said if that process would stop right now start right now he said you need I don't know, like two generations to just stop the process and that's true but <laughs> we're not gonna start anything uh, anyway unless you get this country and you just get some people here and some people there which is gonna happen here i foresee that happening they will separate they will have these things and these things that i just said they still have them we're going to use them in this part and the other things that are infantiles we're going to use on the other side and the other side with infantiles would go down because the children could not run a country and you're going to have the adults on the other side responsible and working hard being truthful and hard working and honest instead of being kind Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just and be kind.